Hey YouTube. We're putting together a brake drum forge today. To get some blacksmithing going on. And today I'm going to show you how to put one together. Why not? You start with the brake drum. Pretty easy. Brake drum out of any vehicle will get the job done. Doesn't need to be doesn't need to be anything fancy. Real thick steel and awesome. You can see these three rods that I welded in here. I'll explain those later. Don't worry about those. You need a brake drum, some simple, get a good look at this, some simple plumbing parts. We're going to start out with two inch. This is all two inch. You need a six inch piece, a three inch piece, thread it on both ends, a two inch T. This is a cap, just on the end, and another threaded, maybe two inches and a two-inch flask. And what's going to power it? A one dollar hair dryer and some coal. You're going to take this flask, put it right on top, just like that. And you're going to see that these holes, one of them will line up. The other ones you're going to have to drill out. See this two inch flange is just bolted down. I've got the inside of that. Don't look at these, no big deal. These are just to stop the coal from falling down back into the hole. So that's it. Once you're there, and the, the idea is you set that up on some bricks, say another brickish. Your hair dryer is going to get duct taped right there. There it is. And some hair dryers will fit right in to the tube, but this one needs to be duct taped on. So I'll throw a round of duct tape around this, load it with coal, and this thing's ready to go. Uh, but let's take it one step farther. What I found is this quite isn't quite enough space for me, and what I'm I need a little bit more room in there. And I'm always adding coal to it, like every 10 minutes, you know what I mean? 15 minutes. So, I've got an old lawnmower. Come look at this. It's three in one mulcher, and we've knocked everything off of it, other than that, then other than the, the bottom of it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna weld that drum around the bottom of it, right over it, just like that. Bam, I'm gonna bead weld that around it. Look at this. These are the, uh, this is the uh, handle to the lawnmower. We're going to use these as legs. We're going to weld one right there. And we're going to weld another one right there. And that's going to hold us up off the ground about waist high. Prime time. Talk about frugal recycling. You know, sometimes you just got to manipulate the steel a little bit. You see what I'm doing here? You see that big old lip around there? It's got to go. See, this is what's going to be holding all the coal, see? It's going to be the work table. Blazing. This will be full of coal. That's the So smooth down here on our brake drum is we had a lot of massive gaps around one side. So I just took some square bar and pounded it around into a strip. We're gonna weld that all the way right there. I mean just give me a little bit more bite. Welding on the old legs. These are these 
these used to be the handle. So just blam, just put them on and weld them on. Check this out. You can see on the inside here, I'm gonna cut this metal out all the way around to open that up a bit. Give me a little bit more room so I can get a lot of coal in there. Well, that's about it. Right there. All we got left to do really is hook up the uh, hook up the hair dryer and uh, fill it with coal. When it falls through that grill, it's going to end up down here. You know, so periodically, every depending how how much you burn, you're going to empty it out so it doesn't trap up your airflow. All right. Um, well, for crying out loud, you get the idea. We're gonna. I'm gonna fill it with coal and fire it up, and you guys see how it works. Check that out, dude. That came out pretty sweet. Look in here. You know, with this whole thing loaded up with coal and your entrance is coming in through these holes here, I just might even cut that edge down a little lower. But that holds a lot of coal. And what do you say we throw these lawnmower wheels on? Blam. Blam. Throw those on there so it's easy in, easy out. And now we're talking. Oh yeah, dude. So there you have it old school on a budget forge pt fill this whole thing up fill the whole thing up and let's forge some steel and here it is set up and ready to rock came out beautiful stable enough it's not going to tip over mobile enough i can pick it up and move it if i have to because it kind of weighs a nugget i wouldn't want to carry it <laughs> from the back shed or whatnot kick on the old fan this is the deluxe model, guys. It's got a two-speed fan on it. It's pretty complex. There's low. Look at that come right to life. Check it. There's, there's low. There's high. Check it. Ever seen one of these? I'm going to make a, a fitting to fit right there in my hardy hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this up. Big old honker, two and a half incher. Upset that end right there a bit, mushroom it, pound it square, whatnot, and slam it right in there. Woo! Check it. That's premium right there. Just toss in your material. Grab your extra complex stirring stick, cover that up. Oh, yeah. Is that beautiful or is it just me? And let it kick it. How's that? That's rocking. There you have it. Custom fit, baby. Couple things I've rocked out real quick since I built the forge. Got a pair of tongs. Tongs, they just come as blanks. They're pretty easy to rock out for the beginner anyway. Got your ugly, ugly bolt tongs. Look at those things. How to control ugly. Not right. Lots of work to do on them. Had a couple of hooks to hold my hardware. You know what I'm saying. Get the old thing tricked out. Got your hold down bar. How's that work, kid? Pretty cool. Check it. Check it. You just drop that in over your work. And when you thump on that, see how that sticks? It's a hold down. It works awesome. Boom. Hold your work down so you can chisel on it and whatnot. Hit it on the side. Dude. Hit it on the side to get it out. There you go. Rock and roll. Huh? So anyway, if you can get a if you can get a forge together, look at this thing rocking. Get together a forge, start moving some steel around. It's a great thing to learn. You're gonna remember.
if they can't find you handsome, hopefully they can at least find you handy. This is Fence Kid coming at you. Take it easy, guys. Peace.